right guys, got another test drive here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. This is a 1966 Chevy Nova. Come back 350 under the hood. Looks pretty sweet. Got all the upgraded pulleys, chrome power steering. Does not have power brakes on this one. Aluminum radiator. Even got the aluminum overflow. Disc brakes in the front, billet specialty wheels. Drum in the rear, dual exhaust out the back. It's got a four speed transmission. And of course we're gonna be taking it down the road looking for any kind of flaws so you know what you're getting. We get these cars in, we wash them, and we turn around and sell them. We buy them, we try to buy them ready to go. They will have a few minor issues and we're gonna be going over that in this video. Go to maplemotors.com for finance and shipping detailed pictures. And every Monday I update at 11 sharp. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? It does have a nice upgraded steering wheel. Pretty good shape across the dash. Nice and clean. Got the tack. Show you the mileage. It's hard to stand behind mileage in a 1966 model aftermarket gauges below the dash here carpet has been changed out bucket seats back seat looks awesome package tray not too bad headliner on this one nice and clean all right this one has got a heavy clutch very heavy let's start it She is cold at the moment. Tack like no band working. Full pressure here. Bolts and engine temperature is now coming up. Radio. Retro sound. Digital. Let's see if we got anything. Whoa! Give you a heart attack. Alright, here we go. Blower motor is not cutting on on this one. Let's try something else. No, nope, not working. Wipers? Wipers need to be checked on too. They're not working. Could be the switch, could be the motor. Turn signals. Left side, right side. It's all working. Horns, you place your bats? Nope, not honking. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Okay, we're getting ready to take off. This one is gonna take a little bit of time to get used to with shifting. It's got a very heavy clutch. Roll out of here, anything I see, I'll let you know. The gas gauge looks like it's floating around half a tank. We'll try to throw five or ten dollars in there just to see. You don't want to fill it up too much because then transport trucks have to empty it out. pretty quick we'll be right back I'm gonna get some fuel and I'll let you know if that gas cage moves off the half tank mark
All right, let's try and get some gas. And apparently pumps don't work today. So let's just hit the road. I'm pretty sure we got at least half a tank. Okay, let's head on back to the lot now. All right, stiff clutch. Let's roll. A little stiff getting into the gear too. Seems to run and drive pretty good. It's not pulling me off the road. It's stopping fast. It's got plenty of power. The clutch is a little heavy on this one. That's definitely something to keep in mind. It's going into all the gears. I mean, it's clicking in, you gotta push. Let's see, third, second there, there we go. I'm telling you, you just gotta snatch it in. And the suspension's definitely a little bit bumpy in this one. Woo, that clutch will jump out on you too.
good deal. Well, now we're going to be doing the walk around, picking out chip scratches and flaws. So stick around for that. Anything else I see, you'll know about it. All right, picking out the flaws. Let's go ahead and get started here. Coming across this front end, chrome bumper on this one looks great, in good shape. Grill, doesn't look too bad at all. Been down the side here. You got a lot of chips down at the bottom. Little bubble in the corner of the door. Little chips. Also back here in the corner. Right there. On the gas cap. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. Scratch right there on the door. Also right here. Back over the top of the fender here is a little chip. Chip on the nose. Right there as well. No blemish in the paint here. Up through here, you can see a lot of sanding. A lot of sand marks over the front windshield. Pretty good. Trim looks good. Got chips. Got bubbles right here on your pillar. A bunch of paint blemishes right here above the door handle. Back windows in good shape, trim looks good. Wiped off. Let's get the keys out. Notice this door. Uh, the handle on the inside will get stuck up, so you have to push it down. Otherwise, the door won't lock. Or it won't shut all the way. And stay shut. I think that's the right one. Haven't looked in the trunk myself yet. It's got a nice mat. It smells brand new. That looks good. Solid. In your jam, weather stripping looks good. We'll eat up over here in the corner. Trunk lid, barely clean.
coming on down with the trunk up on the back here little exhaust out the back chips on that rear bumper tail lights look good back of the trunk looks good spot here we'll discuss here coming down this side a couple chips chips down here right there as well a scratch nope that wiped off it's not a scratch a little dirt there chips chips right here edge of that door and at the bottom of the door here it's probably where people are kicking when they're getting in and out lots of little chips on the paint job Chrome looks good. And around back here, you got a scratch there. On top of the door here, you've got little chips. You got chips coming down there as well. The vent window on this one's got an old seal on it. You can see the little cracks. You've got light little cracks here also popping up, blemishes. The top of the fender, chips. Front windshield's actually a pretty good shape trim and seal looks like it has been replaced. Cracks on your pillar orange peel on the sun on the roof up here down in your jams you can see it in the middle I almost think they could be buffed out you can almost feel it all right so Pretty much made it around this ride here. Double check over the roof. Let's go ahead and check out the interior and then we'll get her started up. Door panel on this one looks great. The seal, not too bad. The bottom. In your jams trim looks good carpet in this one has been replaced with some nice mats seats look good Get her started up. Hmm. Oil pressure there. Engine tent.
with fiberglass. And it actually shuts pretty good. Shift right here on the edge. I do appreciate you watching. Check out maplemotors.com for financing and shipping detailed pictures. And of course, every week we're putting on new rides. I try to keep up as long as we can uh, stay away from the rain. It's been raining here like crazy. But I'll always get a video out and try to get it to you first. Be sure to hit subscribe. And I thank you for watching. See you later.